Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Rise of the Tomb Raider. Where we are back in the Geothermal Valley, and we have a few leftover things to collect. Um, and some challenges to complete. And to be uh, completely honest, I already started recording, well, a bit over half an hour ago. And I ended up running around for half an hour. And not achieving really anything. I mean, I picked up the coin caches. And that's about it, because I, I wasn't able to, well, and this one survival cache. I wasn't able to find any of the other challenges, challenge objectives. I did find um, the, uh, this one, the tossing gourds. I, I, I found the gourds, I think. Well, it's really pumpkins, but, you know, close enough. Um, and I tried a bunch of different things, tossing them and shooting them out of the sky, which, uh, while difficult, was actually turned out to be possible. But uh, that's not what you're supposed to do. And I couldn't figure it out. And um, I was getting, well, not really frustrated. Just, you know, I mostly at, at just having wasted so much time. So I figured I'd just start over. Um, and uh, see if I can do things in a bit more of a, of a, I don't know, sensible time frame. Also, I started here because um, actually while... Um, just traveling back out of the uh, of the tomb where I ended the previous episode and returning up here in preparation for the high dive, I walked out here. I'm, I don't actually remember why I did. I was here before to dig up something, as we can see, but I must have never come close to this uh, tombstone, which makes Lara walk slowly, and uh, an achievement popped up when I first did, and just said, um, oh god, now I don't know. Paying respects? Yeah, I think that's it. But it doesn't actually say anything. So, I mean, I assume it's maybe uh, Jacob's wife's grave. I guess that's probably implied, perhaps, maybe. Yeah, she... I don't know. Or did I not... This looks like a place where I dug something up. But I definitely don't remember seeing the, the tombstone or being slowed down like this. But even here, she's already slow walking, so I don't know what's up with that. Well, anyway... Uh, apparently, so I, I did look this up. Uh, this is, of course, the the correct spot. I did try that. I did try jumping from here uh, twice, and it it didn't work. Um, she just did that the that other special dive, I guess, where she just you know went in feet first. Apparently, it's a timing thing, and I just happened to get it right uh, the first couple of times. So you just jump, and okay, yeah, you, it's just a matter of pressing the button immediately after jumping, rather than a little bit later. No guts, no glory. Well, it, I suppose a jump like that actually takes quite a bit of guts, so... Can't argue with that. I also had a weird glitch happen to me. Let's see if I can... Um, no, actually, this time it works. That's really, really strange. I have an idea for may maybe for why it might have happened. So what happened is... Um, Every every marker that I that I set to to highlight objects like this in the environment uh, actually appeared like high up in the sky in the correct uh, x and y position I guess but the z axis was just moved upward uh, a lot and that was consistent and it would fix itself as soon as I got like very close to it relatively close to it and then it would jump to the correct position but whenever I first uh, set one of those from far enough away. It would, uh, yeah, appear way too high up, which was just bizarre because it never happened before. I think it may have happened because I first activated, um, I first highlighted that this very cache here. Although I uh, knew pretty, or I, I, I was pretty certain that it was exactly here, uh, judging by the map. Um, but I first did that from inside the tomb, basically, by the campsite uh, down underground here. And I guess it may have been the correct... Well, I don't know. Um, it may have been because I was technically on the same map, but uh, far underground, maybe at a negative Z coordinate or something, in technical terms. Like, game internally. Maybe that confused the game. But even after that, even when I was back on the surface, um, the markers would appear even higher up in the sky every single time. So, yeah, that's, that's just bizarre. 
I did start, uh, did restart the game in the meantime, just to make sure it wasn't a thing, you know, just some kind of corruption. Anyway, uh, so what I'm going to do now, instead of just walking around for half an hour unproductively, uh, is I'm going to pause recording until I find something. I'm going to, you know, focus, not talking, um, you know, not getting distracted all the time, hopefully, um, and hopefully find those missing three bullseyes. I think. Yeah, we're five out of eight, and the final bunny as well. And then we're going to look into those gourds again, uh, which are, as I said, over here. And then there is one more issue that I couldn't solve, and that is the final survival cache. But I have a, a small hope that it might be inside the, the tunnel leading to Katesh. And maybe it's, you know, not on the map in order not to spoil that there is something more here before you actually open that tunnel. So maybe it's going to be in there, because I suppose we, we are going to be still on this map technically for a little while before moving on to whatever map comes next, probably in between here and in that currently empty space. Anyway, so that's what I'm hoping for. Um, unless I really missed another backpack somewhere that would highlight that or that would reveal that, that final cache's location to me. Anyway, um, long story short, I'm going to pause and show you just a, a montage, I suppose, of, of uh, the last couple of points of interest. Okay, well, I, that was extremely silly because just as I ended that, I saw this bullseye hanging right there. I wonder if I can get it from here. Uh, I suppose that wasn't quite... Dead center, come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Only two more. That's good. Um, yeah, alright. But I'm going to pause again now and make my way toward that cache, I suppose, and see if I can see anything along the way. Wish me luck, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, I guess just uh, pausing the recording and focusing did the trick, because... Again, 10 seconds later, I found the final rabbit just hanging here. I mean, I definitely was in this area multiple times, looking around, using survival instincts. And uh, I also specifically went through here in my in the, the scrapped recording from earlier, and I just didn't see that. So, well, that's another problem solved. Still looking for those two bullseyes, though. And I guess the final cache, if it's somewhere... To be found in the environment. Maybe I'll see something flashing, but we'll see. Okay, down here by the shore, picking up the final coin cache for another 25 coins. That brings us to a total of two, 284. That's actually enough to buy both guns from the trader. Or did I buy one of them? No, I don't think I did. Did I? Not sure anymore. But uh, it's definitely a lot, and um, yeah, I should probably return there and spend them just because why not not right now though um well i did not find the other bullseyes quite yet i wonder i'm, I'm trying to remember i think i've they so far they've basically all been in this general area of the first village or i guess the, the farmstead or whatever it's officially called um or were there any in this lower area at all there definitely weren't any up here that I saw. So I, I feel like most of these challenges are typically pretty much contained, confined to one specific area and not the entire large map. But of course, relying on that um, might be um, might be wrong because there might be one, one outlier or two in this case. Uh, the thing is, I could look up the locations of the bullseyes but not remembering which ones I've already found specifically, you know, does make that kind of thing pretty tedious. Uh, so I guess I'm not going to worry too much about it right now, or maybe I'll just keep looking a bit more. Hidden Ravine. Wait, where is that one? Is that part of the... of this tomb? Oh yeah, it must be. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's, it's really not that far to walk back up there. So I might just do that and, you know, pick up this this cache and take another look at those gourds, the gourd situation, and, you know, keep my eyes open along the way. 
to maybe spot one or both of the missing bullseyes. But we've already made more progress than I did in that half hour before, so I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out either way. So yeah, I'll meet you back in the upper village where we'll look around some more before we probably head on into that secret tunnel. Okay, <laughs> this is not a place I expected to be visiting again, but um, it's a good thing I did because uh, it looks like this is where the final cache is going to be. So I spent a long time uh, running around the upper village like extremely thoroughly and I did not find another bullseye. So I'm pretty much convinced at this point that they can't be up here. They, they're probably somewhere in the forest down here. I definitely don't remember seeing any of them over near the upper village. Although I guess maybe that indicates that they might be there. Who knows? Um, however, I did head back in here, and through here you can actually see something that I completely missed. In fact, you can see the... I didn't see that before. You can actually see the cache, but I uh, saw that backpack right there. Um, I mean, it's behind that wall. Oh, you know what? Wait. No. You can't dive. You can't dive here. This is deep enough. Oh my god. Okay, I remember specifically entering one of these pools and, you know, noticing that they're not deep enough to actually dive in and giving up on this. But, yeah, it does get lower here. And I'm assuming this is... I don't know. Maybe I needed the rebreather for this. This looks like a long-ish dive. Maybe not. So this is all it is, huh? All it was. It, and, yeah, the cache should be literally right here. Okay. And that's that. No, we... Oh, yeah, right, because we're still... We're still missing that one. But that one's <laughs> the very obvious one. Okay. I mean, it, it didn't seem right to me to have one of them unaccounted for in terms of, you know having them marked on the map. So I suspect that I that I missed that it, if it wasn't a, a glitch that I then that I missed in a missed a, a backpack. And I couldn't really imagine where that might be. I mean I didn't remember specifically finding a backpack here, but there typically is one per tomb, so I guess I just tried because I couldn't remember specifically and it was here. So that's fortunate, although it took me a little while to not only find that, but also travel back here, but that's okay. Now that still leaves it the the bullseyes. I'm not looking forward to spending a ton of time, you know, stopping every ten steps and looking around absolutely everywhere and probably still missing it somewhere, somehow. Most of them were pretty much out in the open, but they can sometimes be a little bit tricky, I guess hanging underneath certain ledges or something. So, I don't know. I guess I'll, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make my way to the upper village, where I know that uh, I can do a couple of things. Also, when I went there off-camera, or I guess technically as well, it was on-camera, um, but yeah, when I returned return, return there, not only were some of the barriers gone, which allows me to go to some of those areas, including the one uh, with the survival cache, where I couldn't go before, um, but some Trinity were actually back. Spoilers, I guess. I was I was expecting the area to be reclaimed by the Remnant at this point, and, you know, back to actually being an inhabited village, but I suppose really not a lot of time has passed in-game. For that kind of thing to happen, and you know, Trinity are very much still around and fighting the remnant everywhere. So, uh, yeah, that does make sense. There were only a couple of them though, and I am curious to find out whether they're still going to be there, or maybe maybe if it's going to be a, a different um, assortment of enemies. Maybe they're going to be in a different position. So basically, I wonder if it's if enemies just you know randomly spawn, randomly respawn. Hello. 
or if those were specifically meant to be to be there now that you know obviously also the geography of the place has changed even if if only very slightly also i could have paused recording again i suppose but i mean i spent some time explaining certain things and you know we're almost there anyway I probably would have uh, teleported to this campsite we just passed anyway. So I figured I might as well keep recording. So, there we go. I mean, not that anything particularly interesting happens. Is gonna be happening for another half a minute or so. Whatever, I mean, at this point, obviously, it's moot. Because I did what I did. So, let's see, um, oh yeah, okay, it looks like the exact same enemies as before, I can see four right now, I think it was four before, even though one of them actually had wandered off, so I was only seeing three of them at first. Those two guys should be... Actually, those two have helmets, don't they? They all have. That's interesting, because those two on the right definitely didn't have helmets the first time around. That one back there, I can't quite tell. He's too far away. Well, that's extremely annoying. Although, actually, would that be close enough to hurt them? I wonder. Well, it did hurt two of them. Has he spotted me? Really? I guess this is not perfect cover, exactly. There goes all your armor. Huh, and it's at least five guys this time. So it, I suppose it was a different group of enemies. It was definitely only four before, and if nothing else, their equipment changed. So that's interesting. I mean, I kind of expected as much. I thought I observed some amount of randomness in these little encounters before. Okay, anyway, we want to pick up that cache that, I, that I've had highlighted this entire time. Because why not? Yeah, at some point, there used to be some kind of barricade here. I guess this is... Hmm. Yeah, I can't tell where exactly it was. Well, I also didn't notice these all these corpses here. Yikes. Well, there are the gourds. Pretty obvious. I mean, we have seen pumpkins in the uh, farmstead, but these immediately, uh, you know, stood out to me because um, we, we uh, can't interact with them. They have their own symbol, so obviously something is uh, up with them. I just couldn't figure out what. But I have read that you're supposed to toss them into barrels. And there are these... Oh, you know what? Now that now I see the barrel. Okay. I mean, these are curious little constructions, right? With those ramps and everything. And at first I thought we would be going to that area with, the, with, with those weird constructions. But uh, it turns out that... Or I guess if I had paid attention before, I would have realized that they are actually outside of the of the space of the map, so we can never go there. And I tried tossing the gourds there, at those things, I just didn't... I don't know. Now that I know, it seems obvious that the ramp is there in order to allow me to have the pumpkin roll into the barrel. I just... I don't know. I guess I just... I must have gotten unlucky, because I definitely threw one of them there. Even onto the ramp, yeah, okay. But that thing tends to happen, so... I guess, it, if anything, it would be... Uh, Seems more promising to... God, the line of sight is really horrible here. Seems more promising to try and get them into the barrel directly, yeah. Okay. Oh well, that's... Um, that's neat, I suppose. Oh, there's one right here. Good to know. I hope the barrels... Um, the, the pumpkins return. Because I definitely wasted that one. Oh no! Two. They must come back. I mean, obviously they do. I just wonder how much effort it takes, how much walking back. 
back and forth it takes for them to return if I waste any more. Uh, I mean, really? Can you not? Maybe that works? There we go. Three more? Well, we have enough for now. That's good at least. There's one barrel up there. Uh, the angle seems bad for this one. I suppose I can toss it up somewhere first. Like, just up there. That should make things easier. Assuming it persists. There it is. Okay, I guess I was supposed to toss it from below. But really, that seems extremely unreliable. Um, with them bouncing off mm, willy-nilly. Those ramps seem like a nice touch, but... I really don't trust them all that much. Okay, that's... 3 out of 5. I'm assuming I have to... Throw one into each barrel. Okay, and some have actually already respawned. So, use those two, but not that one yet. And then there's one more somewhere. This is hard to see. And I... Well, I don't even see... God damn it. A ramp there, so I guess I'll just have to try it like this, maybe? Come on, a little bit lower. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. And... Uh, what that we... You want it out in the open? I suppose I could be. Hmm. Well, I don't see any more. I mean, I guess I can try tossing one into into a barrel I've used before, just to see. Nowhere does it specify, of course, that I have to toss one into each, but yeah. Of course, that's what I thought. I feel like I might have seen one of those stacks of boxes somewhere and wondered about them. That's not it. Not up there. Oh, okay. I was gonna wonder if I can jump with a pumpkin in hand. Kind of, is the answer. Uh, where is the final one? How far away from the pumpkin field would it be? I guess I'll look around without a pumpkin. Also, ammo? Oh, thought I might need some. Actually, I guess I do need some assault rifle ammo. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, this is where we ended up after that little combat sequence. Uh, I haven't explicitly been looking, but I also did not see any any bullseyes up here so far, so that's unfortunate. Or fortunate, because maybe it means that they actually are confined to the uh, lower part of the map. But then I'm really beginning to wonder where I possibly could have forgotten to look, because I was really thorough in the entire farming stead, farmstead area. 
And I guess I didn't see another barrel somewhere. I guess I've been imagining things. Not for the first time. Okay. Well, before I start uh, repeating my mistakes, my past mistakes, and spending another half hour just fruitlessly running around and not finding anything, I'm gonna pause once more and see if I can find that final barrel. And maybe also just bite the bullet and look up the locations of the of the missing bullseyes and try to figure out which ones I've already found and, you know, which ones I'm actually missing. Uh, just so I can, you know, put the check mark on this area and uh, move on un unburdened. So uh, wish me luck with finding things quickly and I'll see you in a second. Okay, this final one took me an embarrassingly long time to find. <laughs> but this is literally just where I came out, out of the water and approached those, this group, that group of soldiers. It's behind this barricade. There it is, just by itself. Really not that far away in a straight line from the others, but, you know, I had to walk around a couple of buildings. And, of course, if I miss this one, I'm going to have to run all the way back, so I'd rather make this one count. Actually, this should be just about right. Uh, this should be okay, please. Thank you. Whew, okay, nice. Thanks for the credits and a lot of experience, I suppose. Guess I must have leveled up in the meantime. Actually, yes, I have, for what it's worth. All right, awesome. Uh, that means that we are really only missing... Well, that challenge and the final tomb. Um, the bullseye challenge, that is. And I have looked up the locations and, well, as I suspected, uh, I... Couldn't, I could only remember a handful of them specifically, once in you know some of the more memorable locations, and I'm suspecting that I'm actually missing some. Well, they're they're mostly in in and around the farmstead, as I thought. So I, even though I thought I looked around very carefully, uh, I guess I still missed them. That's just what it is. Um, and I suspect that I might know which ones they are. So well, either way, I'm going to have to return one more time to, uh, you know, check very carefully this time. And, uh, you know, with a bit of an idea where specifically to look. Hopefully I should be able to do that pretty quickly. So, uh, yeah, I'll just pause again while I back travel there. So, uh, see you there in a second. Okay, we're back here and, yeah, yeah, there it is, right here. I mean, I specifically, for the record, I specifically walked in here figuring that, you know, it would be pretty much like the game to to put one of the things literally where we first landed. Make me walk back a few steps. <sighs> then it was actually just around the corner. There we go. Let's make it. Oh. Make sure that one counts, uh, even though it was a bit of a bad shot. But good enough. And then there is also supposed to be one in a tree nearby-ish, somewhere in this area. And that also sounds like an area, like like a place that I probably didn't find because it's a little bit hidden between the branches. I'm not exactly sure which one of the trees, though. There's no way we'll get enough lumber season before the winter. Oh, there it is. Now I see it. This is well. I mean, yeah. Once you know where to look, it's so much easier, of course. Needless to say. But still, I mean, I I literally spend five minutes running around, looking everywhere with survival instincts. And I did not spot those two. Oh well, it's fine. The game doesn't know that I cheated, it's fine. And yeah, now we're only missing uh, that mission, which will be completed whenever we find the next possibly final optional tomb in the game. So that's cool. Um, and I guess we're also close enough to uh, the path up to the tower. Am I going the right way? Yes. Yes, I Hi. Uh, that I can actually just, you know, walk there and enter that secret tunnel, finally, now that we've completed this area. Well, for all intents and purposes. Come 
Simon Lara. Stop huffing and puffing so much, just sprinting up a mountain. You know, not a big deal. There we are. I also leveled up in the meantime, spent that skill point. Um, on animal instincts, actually, so we'll see. I, I, I guess we're not going to be in an outside area with any wildlife for a while, so it's probably not going to come into play much. Hmm, wait, this, is, this looks pr pretty unexciting. Oh, okay, obviously that's a breakable wall. And I suppose we're not looking for any more caches at this point, so... Just moving on then. Ah, I didn't go back and... Uh, Purchase the things from the trader. Not that it really matters. And we're probably going to get another chance to do so. Oh, the orrery. Already a different map? Oh yeah, it is, I guess. Let's see here. Uh, it's a tiny one, a bit of a transition area, it looks like. Um, follow the path of the Deathless. One mural, three survival caches, and one codec codex. Co codex. 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 Zero out of one codices. One codex, in other words. That's interesting. I don't think that's ever been listed for any of the areas. So, maybe there isn't an, another optional tomb. Maybe this this is a non-optional tomb that still gives me a codex. Hello? Well, I see a cache flashing immediately. So that's cool. We've got a bunch of these climbing arrow walls. Hello? Ah, nice. This is the ore we can actually use, although I don't know if we actually still need that for anything at this point. Yes. Multiple broadhead arrows can be shot into a single wood surface. A red targeting ring indicates shots will knock out nearby arrows, which makes perfect sense, of course. Yeah, okay. We figured that one out. I guess, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll have to make a path for me here. Two should be fine, presumably. Like, just somewhat evenly spaced should be okay. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe I should go for three. Now nah, that should be alright. Yeah, she gets sucked into those, basically. No problem. Nope. Hmm, okay. Seems like they were trying to hide something in here, but I guess not. Hmm. They want me to put one here, one over there, and one there. I guess if I can fit them both, or yeah, fit two of them down here, and I do, that seems like the safest way to do that. That should do the trick, right? Assuming we can... Just land on it, like it's nothing. Then jump up here. All right. Not bad. Campsite, though. And more exotic ores. That ledge up there looks, looks uh, peculiar. Oh, and it is. Sneaky, sneaky. Can we... How do we get up there? Oh. Oh, by climbing higher up. I guess. Let's put it as high up as possible. I guess you can really put it even where it doesn't look like uh, the wood is particularly porous or... Um, well, I mean, I didn't mean to jump sideways. I thought I was holding toward the camera for her to climb back up. That's fine. Thanks for the autosave, I guess. Suppose in that case I can go ahead and climb up there right away without any further ado. Hello? Oh, okay, so I can't aim down there. Uh oh. Let's do that then, I guess. And oh, that works. If just barely. Yep. Everything's in place. I don't know if there's a limit to the number of arrows you can have simultaneously. Obviously, they will disappear when you move away from the area far enough. There we go. That will reveal what few caches there are. 
in this area. And before I already passed one, no, I have not. And it only revealed, well, I suppose it revealed both. And then there is another one coming up somewhere. All right. Solemn crevasse. I just have to catch my breath for a moment. This place, Katesh, Jacob, the deathless ones. I've been running so fast for so long, I haven't stopped to acknowledge the simple fact that all of this is real. A part of me can't believe it. But I know Jacob was telling the truth. Whatever made him is here, and I'm going to find it before Trinity. I only wish Dad was alive to share in this discovery. Yeah, well, that would be very, very nice, but, uh, well... Even with all the magic that has been happening in the Tomb Raider series, I very much doubt that Lord Croft is actually going to come back from the dead. Although, maybe there's going to be the huge twist. He never actually died. It was all just some kind of trick. I don't know. That seems extremely unlikely, but who knows. I don't know. Maybe... I suppose I could maybe see... I mean, I think we've seen that flashback where... No, I don't know. Did, did young Lara actually see him shoot himself? No, I don't know exactly. Maybe that was just a, like a nightmare she had. I don't know if if she literally witnessed his, his suicide. But if not, then I suppose it would be a bit of a stretch, but maybe technically possible that Trinity just, you know, made made him disappear. But then why? No. I guess if they actually had him, were holding him prisoner somewhere, they could just get all the information out of him, and they wouldn't have to go such lengths to try and follow in his footsteps the way Lara is doing. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> that was a crazy little idea, but not particularly realistic. Okay. An interesting sight. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off centuries ago. But it should be safe, at least until you make it past the orrery. Was it part of the observatory? It was built by my astronomers before the Deathless buried the old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh. Naturally. Okay. No specific instructions on how to do so? I guess he trusts her to find out. Hmm. hmm. All right. Well, the path is extremely limited and walled in by... Those are spears? This looks like a lot of effort to prevent people from straying from this path. But okay. Well, there, there's what looks like an entrance. She's walking slowly, but I really want to look around for... Oh, hold on. I guess this doesn't open then? No, of course not. Well, that's the orrery. There's the codex. Making sure the final cache isn't just out here, but there's no vibration, no nothing, so I guess we'll head on in. All right. Oh, actually, the cache is right there. So the backpack did highlight it. It just didn't because this part of the map wasn't revealed yet. All right, fair enough. Pretty far down for now. And back up. No. Isn't that. I guess. I don't know. While jumping down, it looked like there might be a little bit more in that niche, but I guess not. There's also supposed to be a mural somewhere, so I'm trying to pay attention to the walls. 
Just let go, Lara. It's, it's fine. You can just drop. Thanks. Oh, okay, okay. Fancy looking. This is extraordinary. It is. Let's see how this thing works. Let's do just that. Let's see Looks here. like I can pull that into place. Thanks. I wasn't really trying to get a hint from you, just take a look at the, the available pieces. But of course you can't have one without the other, so there's that. Uh, I mean, yeah, only that one is clearly wrapped, well, only some of them, I should say, are clearly wrapped in ropes, so uh, it's pretty obvious that you'll have to pull those, because you can't pull the others. So let's just do the only thing that seems doable for now. Alright, that turns that. Reminds me of the Greek fire situation. I'm assuming we can just make this jump even though it looks far. Yeah, of course. No jump too far. Hmm. Okay, while balancing she can't do... she can't aim. So... That rules out a couple of possibilities. Hmm. Could jump up there. To balance Got somewhere. To get that into the right position. Yes, Lara, I get it. Right. Then we can presumably use that to swing across somewhere. These stay in the position, right? They don't just swing back after a while? Hmm. Maybe I... I don't know if that's in the correct position. I suppose from that beam... You can't move that one, right? That one... That's not wrapped, no. You can jump onto that. And from there... Actually, that's, that doesn't seem to be in the right position. Actually, 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 if I pull this one more time... Because that thing there turns a little bit, but it's roughly oriented in the same way as the, the main beam. So, yeah. That looks like it lines up better. That will allow me to get to over there. And then I want to be able to... Yeah, okay. I want to turn this 180 degrees so I can climb up that that board there, basically, onto the beam itself. Oops. Stop swinging, please. Thank you. Okay, I wasn't. I wondered if the the angle was actually enough to swing that around. This should do the trick, right? Unless there's anything non-obvious to do here. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, Lara. I'm not convinced she can actually fall. I mean, even if I don't press any buttons, she just, you know, does this, but... Oh! Or does she eventually fall? Hmm, I don't know. Who knows? Alright, that lined up perfectly, as expected. Awesome. So far, it seems just very straightforward. Okay. Thanks for the experience game. Oh, some coins. No mural quite yet. It's, it's locked. locked. If you say so. Disengage the mechanism. Hmm. Oh, wait. What is locked exactly? Not entirely sure what I'm trying to do here. Let me take a look. Whoa. Holy moly. Freaking ambulances. <sighs> okay. Oh, we can walk on this. Huh. Somehow I thought the game wouldn't let me. Oh, 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 there was a gap. And I actually broke something. <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, somehow I wasn't expecting to even be allowed to walk on here, let alone travel all the way across. 
But I also didn't expect to actually fall through that gap specifically. I mean, I don't know if I ever need to be here. I can actually go to the other side, though. Huh. Where is the codex? I saw that before. Is that above here? Oh yeah, it must be, right? Because we saw the very top part of this construction, so we're still trying to climb higher, I guess. Wait, hold on a second. Isn't, isn't this where I started? Um, now I'm confused. No. No, it's not. There? Okay. Alright. Mural has its own little chamber. The Mongols destroyed everything in the city, sank beneath the ice. Right, but that wasn't exactly the Mongols doing, from what we've heard. But the uh, the Deathless ones, maybe acting against Jacob's order. I don't know. I don't think we know specifically whether they acted on his orders or whether. They actually uh, rebelled against him, basically. That's kind of the idea that I was getting. That Jacob is just um, blaming himself for giving them immortality in the first place and corrupting them that way, basically. Tempting them. And he's, he's blaming himself for creating them, making them deathless. But not that he specifically ordered them to destroy the city. Um, okay. Let's just see what exactly this does. This retracts... I see. Let's freeze up the mechanism. This is this is a very very strange mechanism. I mean, kind of cool looking. I uh, I appreciate the you know the engineering, but it's it seems oddly complicated for what it's trying to do. Anyway, we can just swing across to the center platform, and we can do the same from the other side. So this is really a very a very simple matter. Not much of a puzzle in this case. Yeah, so that's just free to swing now. I guess we maybe want to fix that in a specific location, in a specific position. Oh, that... Okay, that came dangerously close. People were ahead of their time. Sure enough. Oh boy. Or do we want this to be moving? Um... Maybe? All those... Uh, I suppose it could work. I don't know. At first I thought I, the game wanted me to fix this in a specific position, but... It can't possibly expect me to... You know, to observe which position that is, and then stop it. It seems more reasonable to just, you know... Go with the flow. Jump to the middle, and just jump to each new place as things line up. I guess I could have jumped to that, for example. That thing doesn't... well, I suppose I, I can probably balance on that at some point. There. Okay, as soon as this lines up, I'll just jump here. Somewhat awkwardly, can I... Patience, Lara. Uh, drop onto no! this? Okay, the game actually slowed down for me there. That's appreciate it, I suppose. Okay, and then I wait for those to line up. Well, again, I mean, this this obviously makes absolutely no sense that this even works. But, um, it's uh, definitely interesting. <laughs> An interesting experience. Okay, where do I go from here? Onto that? I suppose I could? Maybe? I don't know. Or... No, that's where I came from. Or do I jump to the central... Oh yeah, okay. To make it to the top now. Yeah, yeah. Got to time it just right. Okay. Didn't see that I could jump to those things. But apparently I can. Alright. Um... Can you actually jump? Outward? Uh, yeah, right. Okay. I mean, she is a master free climber, among many other things, so there's that. That's pretty impressive. Okay, this is the closed gate. Can we open that from here to make things a bit more easily accessible in the future? Not that we have to worry about that. Nope. 
you know, I don't even see anything stopping this from opening. Hmm. Maybe it is gonna open via some kind of mechanism that's operated from where the codex is. I should probably head on over there first. Definitely should have done that. And before I actually fall, trying to jump to this narrow walkway, catwalk, whatever. Well, now of course now I have to wait more. Although, technically, I don't. And practically, I don't either. There we go. Give me that. Magnesite, sure. Some oil. Some coins. Anything else? No? Yeah, okay. Sure, let's read the old book. So this should be about astronomy. Or this mechanics, perhaps. Of the advanced archery skills or archery, I guess. Classically trained. Increase the number of arrows that can be rapidly shot without redrawing from the quiver to three. Honestly, this is something that I've never really made use of at all. The game mentioned... Or technically I knew that I should be able to shoot rapidly. Oh, I suppose that counts as rapidly. I don't know. Typically, I, I shoot only a single well-aimed arrow. Well, I mean, more or less well-aimed, but I try to, to aim at a vital spot in a way that doesn't require another shot to finish the job. So, I guess I was never, never much in, never really in the position to make use of that. It's good to know that I can shoot even more arrows now. Oh, it's very nice that the game allows me to shoot from from here. Wait, did I not? I guess I didn't charge before. I don't know if I need... Oh, wait, is that one going to disappear? Why is that being... No? Why was that one in, in bluish color? Hmm, not sure. Nothing here? In fact, oh no... Wait. God damn it. It is right there. Ah. Well, whatever. That's fine. Good thing I double checked instead of moving on moving on first. Not that it, you know, takes a long time to get back at all. All right. Bells? Bells? Um. Uh, bells? I didn't hear any bells, nor do I see any. Or am I being blind and or deaf? I guess I, I have the game volume somewhat low. Also, there is traffic noise from outside because it's still quite warm and, you know, ventilation is required. Can you see Trinity? Yes, they're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. I mean, really, just leave all the, the attacking to me. Okay. Oh, and I did not realize that we were already on the next map. Another small one, Path of the Deathless. Oh, this is... Okay, right, this is the Ori. Only now are we actually officially on the Path of the Deathless. Uh, well, I guess in that case... I mean, I would have stopped this episode uh, around here anyway. But now that I know that this is actually a different... Uh, a new map... I'm more determined to do that right away uh, than ever. Now than ever. Now more than ever. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna make a cut here. Trust that the game saved me somewhere nearby. And um, we'll continue from here on the actual path of the Deathless. Getting ever closer to the city of Kitesh, which will probably end up being here. Yeah, looks like the map leads in this direction. 
and um, just quickly see. Okay, this one has four documents, one relic, one challenge, one challenge to complete. Actually, that's unusual. Enemy of my enemy, signal bridges. Okay, bridges, brazier, braziers. Keep going back and forth on how to pronounce those. Uh, actually, though, just real quick, ancient secrets. Huh. So that that codex that wasn't part of a tomb um, didn't count toward this. I was wondering about that, but okay. Apparently, there is going to be at least one more actual challenge tomb. That's good to know, I suppose. Anyway, um, we'll explore this path and possibly find that tomb next time. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.